Hey guys, got another material farm for you today. This one is gonna be located over here in Swamp of Sorrows, right over here in this corner. We're gonna be killing the little grells that are over here. We're gonna be looking for the fell hide. They drop quite a bit of fell hide. And there's one extra step for this that makes this a decent gold farm, because if you just go for the fell hide, you're not gonna make an incredible amount of gold per hour. But what I do is I take the fell hide and I mail it over to my tailoring alt and I turn the fell hide into moon cloth, which is still selling for over a hundred gold a piece. So you can almost double your gold per hour on this. And thanks to the region wide auction house, these items sell much quicker than they used to. Used to be moon cloth would sit for a while before it would sell, but now it sells fairly fast. At least that's my experience. I never sit on it for very long. So you just run around and kill these grells and these grells are going to hyper spawn so there will always be mobs to kill. I, I found that I could usually get anywhere between 110 to 150 per hour if you have a decent speed set and you're really focused. And on top of the fell cloth, there's a chance to get some transmog from this farm. Uh, you can get some of the, the really good world drops plus some pretty decent greens as well. So it's definitely a, a pretty decent farm. It's not gonna be no crazy, you know, 30,000 gold per hour material farm but it's definitely going to make you some steady gold, especially if you make a tailoring alt and turn these into moon cloth. You can make a pretty decent profit from doing this. And I'd like to take a second to remind everybody to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future farms and so you're entered in the 10 million gold giveaway. Because I'm currently running a gold cap challenge on this channel, and when I hit gold cap, I'm going to give it away to a random subscriber. I've also made an in-game community and a Discord for people interested in putting together some group farms and just sharing farming tips with each other. The link for both of those will be down in the description below. And I recommend doing this on a character with a decent speed set and bring you some speed potions as well. Just gonna make you kill faster. Seeing as this is a hyper spawn, they're just gonna continue to spawn. So as with any farm, the faster you kill the mobs, the more gold per hour you're gonna make. So I'm going to continue to run this for an hour and then I'll come back at the end and we'll take a look at the loot I was able to get. I'll see y'all there. All right, that was one hour of running that farm. Let's take a look at the loot we got. So it looks like we got 144 fell cloth, which is only going for about between four and 6,000 gold, which is why I recommend turning this into moon cloth. It will almost double your gold. So not too bad. And then we did get a couple pieces of transmog not very valuable items, but really high sale rates. So I always put these on the auction house. It's a goofy looking green hat, but someone will buy it. And it's a unique item, which means it's one of a kind appearance. And you can tell that with the All The Things app. I get a lot of people that ask how I know it's unique. ATT app will show you if you look up there where it says ATT and then it's got one item next to it, the little X. That's showing you that there's only one item with this appearance. That way you know. And then we got some Ebonhold gauntlets. Cool looking gauntlets. And then the Ebonhold chest piece. So you're not gonna get a lot of transmog from here, but there's a chance to get some pretty decent world drops. Plus the fell cloth. Like I said, turn it into moon cloth and you'll double your gold per hour. Pretty decent. And then just some disenchanting stuff from the greens that weren't worth keeping. Definitely recommend checking this one out. It's not a huge amount an hour, but this stuff sells quick. So pretty steady gold. Well, thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.